There they are, Bessie and Mel's litter. Getting ready to go home. This is their final video. As you can see, they're a very energetic bunch. Let's enjoy them for a while here on My Westies TV. Oh, you have your puppy supplies, your pet crate, your leashes and tags and collar, quality dog food, food dishes, and that baby gate to keep them safe. It's important to get that shopping done now. You don't want to do it once you already have the puppy in the car on your way home. It stresses the puppy out too much to be doing all that traveling and doing shopping. So if you can get all that together before your puppy goes home, that would be awesome. If you have any questions you'd like us to answer, feel free to put them in the comments and we'll address those in the next video. That would be deeply appreciated. Thank you very much. Remember to always drive safe. Keep your pet in a pet carrier or in a harness while driving. A loose pet is always a danger when driving in the car. Remember, if your pet's going to be playing in the yard, make sure it has a secure fence surrounding it. A electric collar won't work and uh, if it's not a secure fence, they will get out. Spring is supposed to be here sometime, so if you let your dog outside to play, it's going to get dirty. So it's always good to wash them with a gentle a shampoo and make sure that you dry them off real well because if you wash them too often, they'll get a dry skin. So usually three or four times a year, but when spring gets here, it's going to be more often. So use a very gentle, like a baby shampoo and then dry them real well when you're done. We'd like to thank everyone for watching. We really enjoy doing this. I hope you enjoy watching the puppies as much as we do. Puppy's nails will get very sharp as they get older. We clipped them here about a week ago, but they'll need clipped again. If you'd like to see a video on how to clip your puppy's nails, let us know. Put it in the comments and, and we'll put that up there for you. Oh, 
Ralphie's got their microchips and their first set of shots on Tuesday. So we recommend not taking many public parks or around any other dog's feces until they've had all three sets of shots. So just something to be cautious of or your puppy will get sick. And we'll put a link up in the upper right hand corner so you can see that microchipping video if you wish. emphasize enough the need to for crate training. And remember the crate isn't a prison, you'll hear me say that all the time. But it's there to protect your puppy and your house when you cannot be home. We don't feel that any owner should be without a crate. Crates come in all shapes and sizes. We recommend getting a larger crate with a divider so as your puppy grows you can make the crate bigger. And as your Westie grows you can adjust the size of the crate by increasing the usable space. But it's up to the owner to decide what kind of crate they want to get for their Westie. Just remember a crate can be a haven that when it's filled with its cherished objects, it reinforces your Westie security. And if you feed your dog in the crate and give them special treats, it'll make it all the more enticing. Eventually your Westie will go into his crate on his own volition. Every time he does, praise him and give him a treat. It's important to remember don't put your puppy in the crate for long periods of time right off the bat. Start with a few minute increments, don't leave the room and then let them back out again. And it's easy for them to stay in the crate initially for three or four hours and then you can increase the time from there. But if, you have, if it's inevitable they're going to be in the crate for a long period of time, be sure to ex exercise them well before they go in the crate and then after you let them out. And remember, take the time to teach your puppy some tricks. They love to be obedient. They want to make you happy. They want to work for you. So give them something to do. They'll be happy. Again, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and to hit that subscription button if you haven't. So you can keep up with all the antics of all the other puppies we have around here. And remember to train your Westie and don't let your Westie train you. And you'll both be happy.